All right, we're back on the bench with the rusty ICOM 735. I've just put all the cables back in. I'm about to put enough screws in to keep it sort of solid so that we can give it a try and power it up. I think that's the most interesting bit of all this. So I'm going to put uh, this here. And we'll put one diagonally over here so nothing comes apart. All right, that'll work there. And we don't have a rotary encoder, so I'm going to feel confident. Confident here, I'm going to get the mic out because that's my only input device. And even though it's gross and rusty, I'm going to plug it in to see if, in the event that it actually works, I want to be able to make the display change. So I'll hook that up first because my only way to change frequencies or bands are the fact that the bands are still loaded in memories and I can switch with the mic. <clears throat> and I think this box will help us get to the right angle so we can see some things. Okay, I'll get you up here like that. That's better. And then let's see, we'll need some, we need our receive jumper. So I guess I was premature on the lift. So let me do that first. So we'll get these two wires on. And we'll get an antenna here. And we'll get some power. And we'll turn it off. We don't want any surprises before we're ready. All right, we'll move our supplies up here. All right, let's see what we got. Any bets? <laughs> that was a lot of pins, so we'll see. All right, here we go. Or not. Oh, I guess that wasn't in. Look at that, that's pretty good. So no more uh, whatever that was. And just to remind you, whatever that was, it used to look like that. So I think we're far superior to the original condition. And let's see if, uh, I don't have my ICOM memorized, so I should have put this on first. So let me take the mic off. I think you can do that hot, but we'll turn it off. Everything should slip in nicely, right? Somehow our channel buttons are not going in. There we go. Everybody's popping in. So we don't have any knobs, but at least we can tell what things do. All right, let's give that another shot. That looks like a radio. What, let's see what antenna I'm on and what band I'm on. There we go. So that's the 40 meter dipole. And we can already hear our favorite K station. So I think that's working. Now I think I can go to memory mode and we can change bands. And I think that's good enough for me. So now we're gonna go back to VFO mode. And I think I can creep up and down with, with the buttons.
not hearing many stations, but I'd say this is a success. Yep, I think it's uh, 11.30 at night and 40 meters, and I've got a whole bunch of local noise. But I think the rusty icon looks a lot better. So the next thing I'm going to do, I had a suggestion of somebody saved, take this thing apart and swap the sensors to see if I can move the problem to the other side. So we're going to do that next, and we'll see if we can get the ICOM 735 uh, diagnosed a bit. I do have the... IR receiver part ordered, but it isn't in yet. So as soon as that comes in, we'll see if we can fix the, uh, the main tuning indicator. So thanks for watching. See ya.